song a whole lot. Hi. Today, we're going to have a little chat about drill batteries. This is, uh, this is my old 14.4 volt Mastercraft drill from Cambodian Tire. Uh, it takes these pretty normal NICAD battery packs, these rechargeables. Um, NICADs are great when they're new. When they get old, they go to crap and they develop a memory and they get all sulfated and they stop working. Like this one that just came off the charger. So believe it or not, what I'm going to do to uh, try to rejuvenate my battery pack is uh, employ my welder, which is a little power fist from Princess Auto, and it's a slightly more adjustable version with wire speed adjustments and heat adjustments. Uh, I think they sell a cheaper version that doesn't have hardly any of this stuff. Uh, this was on sale for 200 bucks at some point, and it's probably the most two, the most fun I've had with 200 bucks uh, in the shop ever. Um, a lot of fun. Re recommend you try it out. But um, yeah, so we're gonna get some power fist on this battery and see what happens. And there's no fist like a power fist. First thing we need to do is check out the polarity of the welder. I'll be right back to do that. Okay, so I've opened the trap door here, the side door on the welder, just like one of those antique car hoods. Um, you can see here, this is the wire feed roller. It's the wee little spool of meg wire. It's a flux core wire because I don't have any welding gas, but the welder is convertible to gas. So I'll do that sometime probably. Um, any real welders will laugh at the size of my wire roll. Uh, it's a two pound roll. <laughs> um, and down here they have this lovely helpful diagram which tells me that since I'm using no gas shielding um, my clamp is the positive side of the welder. So that's good to know. And since I'm in here I'm actually going to detension the uh, ooh. It's crap video. I'm going to detension this thing, which uh, puts tension on the feed. So I don't really need the wire to feed while I'm doing this. I just need the electricity. All right. This is the working clamp to the welder right here. Um, since this clamp is a not a great conducive shape for what I'm trying to do, or doesn't the jaw doesn't actually open wide enough. I'm uh, borrowing the lead off of a little battery booster pack that I picked out of the garbage. And this, you can see, is nestled in this little plastic part here of the casing and on the positive connection side of the battery. That leaves this side open, the negative side open, for me to hit with the wire feed gun end, whatever that's called. I don't know. I'm a bad welder. Sorry. So I can zap the crap out of this, and I'll try to get a little video of me zapping the crap out of that a few times and see if we can wake the sucker up. Okay. Since I am working with a welder and a battery, neither of which were made to work together, uh, there's potential for battery explosions and welding sparks, I'm going to be using proper welding safety gear, or semi-proper, with my full face mask, proper thick welding gloves, and my jacket that's held together with duct tape. Perfect safety equipment. Here goes nothing. Okay, here we go. Battery pack, hot off the charger. It's actually slightly warm to the touch. Here we go. Bob's your uncle. Let's see, from a pack that wouldn't even take a charge, what we have here.
Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's turn her up a little so it doesn't trip the clutch. Yep. That does the trick. So there you go. You can uh, zap the hell out of your batteries carefully with a welder and you might get a little more life out of them. That's your uh, tip of the day. Check you later.